that loyalty to the country comes ahead of all other loyalties and this is an absolute loyalty since one cannot wait it in terms of what one receives i am not as simple as i look the preservation of freedom is not the task of soldiers alone the whole nation has to be strong well such goes the inspirational quotes by the great man of peace lal bahadur shastri the death anniversary of lal bahadur shastri the second prime minister of independent india is observed on january 11 the great leader passed away on this day in 1966 in tashkent uzbekistan lal bahadur shastri was born on 2nd october 1904 at mughal sarai baranasi uttar pradesh he was the second prime minister of independent india and also a leader of the indian national congress party lal bahadur shastri a humble man of great integrity and competence had dedicated more than 30 years to the country he was humble tolerant with great inner strength and resoluteness he understood people's language he was also a man of vision who led the country towards progress lal bahadur shastri was deeply influenced by the political teachings of mahatma gandhi lal bahadur shastri's father was a school teacher who died when lal bahadur shastri was only a year and a half old his mother who was still in her 20s took her three children to her father's house and settled down there he was sent to live with an uncle in varanasi so that he could go to high school he was called nanhe or little one at home he walked many miles to school without shoes in the burning streets in summer lal bahadur shastri studied at east central railway inter college in mughal sarai and varanasi he completed his graduation from the kashi vidyapeeth in 1926 he was given the title shastri meaning scholar by vidyapeeth as a part of his bachelor's degree award but later this title got included as a part of his name shastri ji was famous for his slogan jai jawan jai kisan which means hail the soldier hail the farmer on 16 may 1928 he got married to lalita devi at the age of 16 shastri ji joined the non cooperation movement to fight against the british he became a life member of the servants of the people society that is the lok sevak mandal founded by lala lajpat rai he then started to work for the benefit and upliftment of backward classes and later he became the president of that society during the 1920s shastri ji joined the indian independence movement he was sent to jail for a period of time by the britishers In the 1930s he participated in salt satyagraha and was sent to jail for more than 2 years. In 1937 he was the organizing secretary of the parliamentary board of UP and later in 1942 was again sent to jail when Mahatma Gandhi delivered the Quit India speech in Mumbai. His imprisonment continued till 1946 with an average of 9 years in total in jail. His time in jail was utilized by reading books and understanding the work of western philosophers, revolutionaries and social reformers. He was also awarded India's highest civilian award posthumously in 1966. Lal Bahadur Shastri promoted the white and green revolution in India. He played a key role in the white revolution to make India self-reliant in milk production. He created the National Dairy Development Board in 1965. In 1965 his boost to the green revolution helped in the productivity of food grain in places like Haryana, Punjab and Uttar Pradesh. Lal Bahadur Shastri was prime minister for a short term of only 19 months but he has served the nation for 30 years by being a part of India's struggle for independence. Lal Bahadur Shastri died on January 11, 1966 in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. just a day after the peace treaty was signed for the end of the 1965 Indo-Pakistan war the cause of his death was reported as a cardiac arrest news desk report voice 24 into 7